I seriously, seriously made that my ringtone on my phone. Because <laughs> I was like, I'm so proud of it. It's so awesome. So, uh, ah, welcome to another episode of Psychotronic Coast to Coast, where uh, my co-host here, Owen Neal, and myself delve into sometimes the classics, sometimes the not at all, even close to a classic. Uh, and uh, we, get, we get to straighten out the bag of snakes and tell you what's good and what's not, and uh, what's worth watching. That's what we do. So... Uh, what did we watch this week, Owen? Blood Rage. Blood Rage! This is a limited edition that's sold out and probably rare or something. <laughs> it says on the slipcover, this is Thanksgiving. It's not cranberry sauce. We were talking about how it takes place during Thanksgiving. And I didn't even pick that up until I read the back. Oh, it's on the back too? Okay. It, it says it like at least twice. No. Oh, yeah, it does. Thanksgiving meal. Look at that. Twice. Yeah, look at that. All right. Cool. We're both like reading. Yes. Uh, riveting podcasting as we both stare at the backs <laughs> of our Blu rays. <laughs> I got the non special, super special edition. You bought it much later. Like, or uh, I guess like it's called. Later. Almost a year later, actually. Edition. Yeah. It's not the limited special edition. Mine's limited with an extra bonus disc, which has the Nightmare at Shadow Woods cut. And the composite cut, which is the combination of the Blood Rage cut and the Nightmare at Shutter Woods cut to make the most full cut possible, I suppose. I don't know. I haven't watched it. I think that's the next time Next time I revisit this, I think I'm going to watch the composite cut. I like one of the special features is three minutes with Ted Raimi. He wasn't even in the movie for three minutes. <laughs> right? He was <laughs> He was a condom salesman in the very first scene, basically. Uh, second scene. No, it's, he's in the first scene, isn't he? Yeah, because it's like one, well, sort of one shot of the guy getting the popcorn, and then he goes into the bathroom. Right, 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 and buys condoms off a guy. You're going <laughs> to buy, I'm sorry, and look, look, I, I get it, people trying to make a buck, but are you really going to trust a random dude's condom? It's like, are you really going to trust a random dude's ecstasy? Ecstasy, do you know this guy? Just some no, random guy in the bathroom going to sell you some ecstasy. Why is condom any different? That can change your life just <laughs> drastically. I mean, unless he stole those condoms, he has to mark them up. I mean, he'd have been better just being pre-prepared buying condoms later. All right? Like, Jesus Christ. It's like, I'm willing to spend a little extra for bathroom condoms. <laughs> yeah, convenience condoms. Condoms so convenient, man. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, that was Ted Raimi's part. That was... That was the first five minutes of the movie. <laughs> we now spent more time than he has both in the comment comment uh, than he has been on the on the special features and in the movie talking about his part in the movie. So <laughs> we should move on. Ted Raimi, that guy. <laughs> that guy. Oh, dude, Ted Raimi is in everything. I love him. I love him to death. All right. So what happens next? Oh, we're getting yeah. into it. Yeah, we, we might as well. Shit, like not <laughs> not like we're doing anything else, huh? Yeah, they're at a drive-in, which is funny because the the little new drawn cover for this is him popping out of a drive-in screen, but only the beginning's at a drive-in. Mm -hmm. No, he's not even any screens either. Yeah, he's not even an adult then. But yes, you have two kids sleeping in the back with the mom on her date in the boyfriend wants to do her in the front seat which is awkward as hell yes understatement <laughs> your kids are asleep let's do this i like to point out the Come other on. cover for blood rage is the knife reflection of the knife like you can't see here 
Owen, but everyone else can see. I mean, I got it too. Yeah, it's true. I'm about to sneeze. It's a reflection of a girl in a knife. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit, that hurt. Let me let me know this real quick. Ah, <laughs> oh, thank God we cut all this out in the audio version. Ah, <laughs> oh, and all those chair squeaks and the cat trills and the ums, because Owen here is an expert audio cutter. -er -er. More, I'm just annoyed by that. <laughs> He's a perfectionist like me. <laughs> That's why there probably hasn't been one in a while. It was like, so much work. Yeah. Well, I mean, we don't really have a home for it either yet. We don't, for the podcast. Yeah. So we can only have it up on iTunes, which we'd like to do at some point. But anyway, I digress. <laughs> so they're at a drive-in theater. Yeah. So the kid's not waking up and uh, decide they don't want to watch their mom make out with some random dude. I don't want to make the watch their mom make out with random dudes either, <laughs> frankly. <laughs> Just being honest here. So they sneak out the back, and then uh, one of them's peeping in a window and watching uh, some, some assumingly teenagers have sex. Well, what I mean, you know, what else <laughs> is he going to do at the drive-in other than watch the movie? Yeah, apparently this fucking drive -in... watching someone fucking or watching the movie. Or all three of them somehow. At this drive in everybody's fucking apparently. Apparently. No one gives a oh, shit. Oh, you see like like why do they even bother going and paying to go to the movies? They just fuck at home. <laughs> I know. Well I pay so much money to go to the drive in. <laughs> and by the way, drive ins are cheap, you're paying for two fucking movies. Okay, they're cheap in in comparison because you just one price, but you, know, you still pay a lot of money per person or whatever, per vehicle, or whatever it is. You think, what are you gonna fuck in the back seat and not watch the movie? It's expensive, <laughs> man. Also, movies are awesome. I mean, I don't know if you've watched them or not, but things happen in them and they entertain you. The fucking can happen sure. later, you know. You can like, or yeah, at least at home you can just pause the movie, get there to fuck in the middle of it. Uh, we should probably mention the the kids are <laughs> twins. Yes, yes, they are twin boys. Terry and Todd. The only twins in this movie are actually these kids, because the actors, the, the the adult version is played by the same actor. Yeah, which is obvious in one scene where yeah. it's clearly a different sized dude with a bad wig on. Oh God, it's so <laughs> like I'm like I had to double check, did double take, like what the fuck? What is that all about? Wow. But uh, the, one of the uh, Terry, I believe. Picks up a hatchet out of the back of the vehicle and uh, decides he's going to just stick it in that guy's face who's having sex. Yeah, multiple times, repeatedly. And then he starts to fall on top of her, uh, the lady, and and she, she starts she she's trying to hold, hold him up because she's trying to get him off him. And he gets a couple more whacks in his face. Like, yeah. <laughs> and then she just straight jacked. runs away naked. Yeah, wouldn't you? And then. Like, uh, I'm fucking, he... And she noped the fuck out there so quick, man. <laughs> she's like, nope. <laughs> Which, uh, she must disappear altogether because the fact that uh, Terry puts the hatchet in Todd's hand, rubs one hand of blood on his face, tells everyone he did it, and uh, that's all it takes to get him locked away in a mental institution. For ten years. Because uh, apparently that girl didn't come back. I mean, maybe she couldn't tell the difference anyways. Yeah, man, <laughs> she's too, dude, memory is really bad, especially in trauma. Try rem I, try try getting like try having something traumatic to happen to you, and then remember something about the person who did it to you. It's really quite crazy hard. Memory is I a just, fucking thing, man. I just like that Terry's covered fucking head to toe in blood splatter. <laughs> Todd has one handprint on his face. On his, just on his face, it looks like a handprint, like someone wiped his their hand off on his face. And they're like, "Hey, yep, he's crazy. Totally did it. Yep, makes sense." It's like what? <laughs> How? <laughs> Doesn't make any damn Terry. sense. Terry's too fucking good at framing. Uh, yeah, jump ten years later. The mom's visiting him in the nut house. Uh, there's a weird voiceover from the therapist explaining what's going on on screen. It was very awkward. Like I had to calm her down. I'm like, what's going on here? But he comes in and. Uh, Todd comes in. She gives him a piece of pie or something, which he squishes. Yeah, I, I, he just and 
And and you men, m- mentioned is, he, is that poop? <laughs> yeah. No, it's some baked goods. Jesus Christ! He's crazy. This man He's goes right from poop. like zero to poop in like no no time. <laughs> like, watch out, ladies! He goes zero to poop without without warning. It looks like poop to me, but I didn't. Now I'm remembering <laughs> that there was a piece of like pie on the. Uh, yeah. There was a piece of pie on the, uh, the desk of the dog. It looks like it's like it's pumpkin pie, and that's why it's like brown. So he's like smashing it because remember it's Thanksgiving. <laughs> See, that never really. At one time, to the me. dinner they had the, they had Thanksgiving dinner. It still didn't jump out to me as Thanksgiving. That's they because we weren't paying that close dinner. attention because we were bored out of our skulls at that moment. Because that's the boring part of the movie. Yeah, that's the next part, isn't it? Yeah. Interesting. She's going to get married to some dude that owns the apartment complex. Which you see on uh, Terry's face, he doesn't seem that excited about it. And he's there with his girl, and then some other girl kind of hitting on him across the table. I don't know. Was that the friend, or was that, like, the owner's daughter? I have no idea. Uh, both. I think it's a friend and the <laughs> owner's daughter, actually. I think yes. both both qualifiers are applicable in this case. I'm trying to remember where it goes from there. <laughs> uh, then she. Do they get the call that Todd's escaped? She leaves, and and some like I guess like and then some and then like some time a little bit of time passes, and then that's when the oh yeah she gets the call yeah she does get the call at that point, and doesn't tell anybody I think. Uh-huh. Pretty sure she tells her guy, who's trying to mac on her. Shh, shh, kitty. But yeah. Anyways, I'm just gonna jump to where the doctor and the dude shows up. Oh yeah, that's, that's like the next scene anyway. It's like there's a yeah. scene in between that we're missing, where they're talking. Oh, they're kissing oh. in the bed. Oh, that's right. So Thanksgiving then ends. They're ma- they're making out in the bedroom, and then that's when the phone call happens. Then they get told, and then. Uh, cut to, to someone else in the house. They're talking, I guess, and then the one guy plays a prank on them, pretending like he's like injured or whatever. And then the doctor shows up. No, maybe no, he's not, no not the injured. That the injured part was later. That was much later. Yeah, yeah. no, but I, he's like he's there <laughs> with the girl, and and then that's when the doctor and the and the assistant show up with a gun, and he freaks out because he thinks it's him, but it's not him. It's the the quote unquote not crazy brother you're just making me confused I'm right, pretty just, sure Terry's, continue on. Just Terry's still on. at home at this point he yeah, hasn't yeah. gone let's just, let's but, just yeah, the doctor shows up the guy shoves a gun in his neck the only person who realizes that it's not Todd is the doctor I want to point out because everyone <laughs> else starts confusing him immediately constantly <laughs> she's like, the rest she's like of the that's movie. the brother Terry you calm down so they're out searching. Well, at this point, no one else really seems to really give a shit that Todd might be there. I mean, yeah. the mom starts drinking heavily, but yeah, she goes into hysterics like immediately. She becomes completely useless, <laughs> like nearly immediately. So they head out looking. Uh, my favorite character, who's only there for a couple seconds, the guy with the trank. Although he gave it to Wait, the girl. But I thought the condom salesman is your favorite character. No. He's my favorite character. Ted Raymond, man. He's the best character in the movie. I just like the other guy because he had a weird voice. and He's just like... Decides to just randomly get high. I know. That was so great. And then confuses the two... Oh, God. No, he sees Terry again. He's like, want to get high? Yeah. And Terry, <laughs> Terry, knowing that now Todd has escaped... Takes it on his, on 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 his own to start murdering people again, and to like blaming yeah. on Todd because he's like you know he's had an itching to murder for the last ten years, and now <laughs> he can get away with it again. So, <laughs> guys, murdering machete that and uh, he murdering people for the ten plus years, just being more secretive about it. <laughs> Hobos and transients <laughs> and shit. But yeah, he uh, smokes some weed with this guy and then uh, stabs him with a machete. And takes a joint and walks away, smoking it. Yeah, and then uh, he cuts the uh, doctor in half. Oh, yeah. You don't really see. Like, he slices and it cuts, and then it comes back, and she's completely Screaming while she's bleeding out in half. It's pretty brutal. 
pretty effective stuff too. I mean, you, you know it's fake on Blu-ray, but if it was on VHS, the shit would be. Been... Oh, that's what we missed. The boyfriend goes back to his house and he gets his hand cut off and, and his head chopped, and then we don't see the result of that until like an hour later. Yeah, I was trying to remember if that was. I think it was after he killed the doctor and the other guy is when I he cut the was, guy's hand off. I thought it was before he it's killed It's somewhere the in there. I think it's he before he killed, after the he kills the guy before the doctor? Could be. It's, in, it's one of those. He's one of the first three, four kills, yeah. Yeah, he slices his beer hand and hold. hold. <laughs> yeah. Beer hand holding, holding beer. <laughs> beer holding hand. Like, there you go. Yeah, because like... I've never seen this before, but I'm like, why do I remember this Thanksgiving scene? And then I remember the hand chopping, which I believe was a, a gif floating around the internet. Oh, yeah, it is. I've seen it. Labeled as funny, terrible kill. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. But other than that, I didn't, nothing else popped up to me. So. so it was a fresh watch for you. That's good. So yeah, so I'm gonna boyfriend gets killed. Some... We don't see the real true aftermath of that till an hour later. And when, when uh, we'll, we'll talk about that anyway. <laughs> just so is it at this point where he just goes and cleans up and uh, he's all done killing for a little bit. Yes, because he goes and meets up with the uh, the kind of sluttier girl. No, I thought that was Todd, and that's why he was acting all weird and quiet. No, no, no. Uh, Terry meets up with the girl that has lots of makeup on and goes in it, and she's uh, clearly hitting on him. He's like, what's on TV? <laughs> and doesn't want to drink any alcohol. And then Todd is trying to get in the house, and he ends up hiding in the closet. And then uh, that's where uh, Terry's girlfriend, I assume, is there. She's like, I want to make love to you thinking it's yeah, Terry. Like but he's super like, I'm forward, Todd. and it's like, what? <laughs> it's really awkward dialogue. Yeah. It's like, I'm Todd, and he's like, I've never kissed a girl, and she just like runs away. And she runs to the two jock guys. Those are the guys show up. One of them looks with a baseball bat for like maybe yeah, two seconds. <laughs> and he's like, I don't see nothing. Yeah. <laughs> like, wow, you're useful. And then they meet up with Terry and the uh, other girl. Yep. And she says, I saw Todd. So he runs off. Terry runs off. And then they decide just to go hang out at her apartment and play fucking Atari. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And then, oh, by the way, it's not quite Atari. It's clearly a 16-bit or maybe an 8-bit game, like a Sega Master System game maybe, but... It's basically an Atari controller with dildo sticks attached to it. We don't know what they were. They are these weird joysticks that look like dildos. So yeah, they didn't look like Atari controllers either. They were bigger. They looked like they were dressed up like the Atari controller, but then like shit strapped to it to make it look something different. <laughs> That's what it looked like to me. But I, I bet you, I bet you, there is a huge nerd who knows this shit. You can be like, well, it's actually a VX something something twenty three Vic twenty nine computer. I'm like, oh, that's cool. <laughs> I didn't know Miramar was available for that. What? I don't, you know, like, I, I don't fucking know. I'm sure someone knows what it is. It's not in the trivia on IMDb. Someone should fix that. <laughs> also, what's the fucking movie they watch at the drive-in, and what's the movie they watch uh, uh, on the TV later in the movie? Because I, I can't find any information on those either. I assume they were fake. Uh, I, I assume they were probably... Um, Some dude being hit with an axe. Yeah, I think they would be like, uh, maybe their effects test footage maybe don't know we should also mention that when he was watching TV with that girl she was babysitting it's not really important other than they come up a little later yeah the baby's fucking huge for some reason like, the baby <laughs> looks like it's 25 pounds but it's totally a baby but also looks really huge and 25 pounds super super strange <laughs> I'm no baby expert but I think it was a very large baby. So, yeah, he Terry heads off to find Todd, or that's what he says. They play some video games. Two of them disappear. Seems like they're going to have sex. And then you hear a screaming, and they come in there, and, oh, she's been murdered. But she hasn't. They're hilarious. Ah, oh, so funny. 
So that kind of pisses the other two off. They leave. He's clearly trying to make some uh, some moves on her, but she's having none of it. She's Terry's girl. Terry's girl. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to. Uh, those two go off to the pool to have sex. The skinny dip yeah. to have sex, yeah. They get murdered. Yep, they get murdered pretty bad. Uh, that guy's trying to make more moves on her again, grabbing her hips and being real creepy. But uh, Terry shows up, grabs her legs. He's, they about scream. As, he's about as effective a seduction as I am, so you know, I'm not really <laughs> complaining. <laughs> if I bump my pelvis on you, then we will have sex with me. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't work that way. And he's like, chill, dudes. It's just me, Terry, brah. I mean, he doesn't say it like that. Bro. No, he doesn't at all. <laughs> like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> That's what it should have been. It's just Terry, brah. Totally, totally not Totally time. relax, brah. It's all good, brah. What the fuck? Like, yeah, that sure is Terry. Uh, I'm starting to blank again. At some point, he kills the mom and the uh, her date, her rich boyfriend. She was trying to get a sugar daddy for her new baby. Yeah, that's right. That does happen at some point. Also, at some point, we watched the mom sit split-legged in front of the fridge eating leftovers. With her hands, by the way. Yeah. Like, just shoveling food in her mouth from various bowls with her hands. <laughs> I mean, like, yeah. it's clearly... Okay, if I were to guess, I'd guess that the person who thought this shot up may have had a thing for ladies who were eating with their legs open on the floor. I'm just saying. <laughs> it's like, it's a total fetish shot. It's It's craziness. There is one point where Todd's in the house and the mom drunkenly pass out and he puts her in bed. Yeah. And she calls him Terry. There's uh, also the shower sequence. When when did that happen? Like, it's the only other nudity in the movie is the pool and the, and the shower for those who like to keep tally of those things. I don't remember. Uh, I mean... And then, don't they get killed in the, in the shower too? I don't... And I don't uh, think see, so. like it's funny. It's like one of the only nude scenes in the movie, and I totally don't remember it because it's who. It's yeah. one of those um, things. <laughs> and there was at one point, uh, Todd comes across the dead doctor and puts her legs back next to her corpse, picks up a gun. But yeah, so they just uh, uh, Todd shows up something oh yeah Todd grabs the uh, jock guy has a gun says he's not bad Terry's killing people makes him lead him back to the door he points the gun at Terry but then he just runs away so Todd and the friend go out searching and her Terry and the friend go out searching for Todd they find a whole bunch of weapons laying on a little catwalk I'd like to point out that mm -hmm. Todd found the pistol on the scientist and when he finds it it's a real gun, except in the insert shot where it's clearly a squirt gun <laughs> spray-painted silver for some reason, but only during the close-up shot where he picks up the gun. I, where you'd want it to be real. I just, like, why isn't that a shorter cut? Where just a hand, like, grabbing it, and you can cut to, and he's got it in his hand, you're like, oh, I get it. It's not even a good spray-paint job. It's, like, it's, all runny. It's so, like, shot last <laughs> minute. Clearly, they, it looked like they, they forgot the shot entirely, didn't have the gun, couldn't get the guy to bring the gun back to do it because you need a guy to be there on set, that whole thing. So, I'm guessing they just went and bought a squirt gun and spray painted it because there you go. It's right there in the fucking movie. Clear as day. <laughs> Can't hide that with VHS. I'm sorry. That would look the biggest shit in VHS. And I just like the jock guy like touching every murder weapon that's up there. Everything. And then, like, and then Terry's like, wanting to get caught. That, ain't, that ain't cranberry sauce. He says it like five times. Yeah, that's why it's on the Which, poster here. It's not cranberry sauce. It makes a lot more sense now that I realize it was Thanksgiving. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Even then, it's dumb. No, oh, it's, it's it's just retarded. I it's just. I might need to rewatch this scene, but so they're on the bridge, and uh, he ends up picking up like a barbecue fork, stabs the friend through the neck. But, like, I swear during the scene when they're looking at the weapons, there's somebody walking in the background, like, peeking around a tree. 
I, but it's it's never mentioned or shown again. I bet you it's just an, a fucking person who wasn't supposed to be there. <laughs> I missed it. I, thought, I seen it. Twice I thought it was time. gonna. I thought it was gonna cut with a close up of Todd seeing his, you know, Terry kill somebody, but oh. that never happened. Yeah, I wonder if it's a random person or if it is just supposed to be one of them watching. <laughs> it's weird. Yeah. Terry stabs him. The friend shows up, or the girlfriend shows up. Oh, are you okay? And he's like, Oh yeah, Todd's killing people. But then he's just like, I love you, and starts slicing at her. And now right? he's, he's gone full crazy at this point. He just stop. He just drops. Oh, sorry. He just drops the pretense and just goes, I love you. And she's uh huh. What? Oh god! And she like starts going right <laughs> after her. Like, well, didn't you hear me? I said I love you. Like you're you're um trying to murder me. Like I'm sorry. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> She hides in the closet. There's a corpse in it. Did she even notice that corpse? I don't think she did. But she comes out and uh, Todd, uh, I keep mixing them up. Terry's playing with the uh, the dead body like, want to have fun? She's like, what the fuck's wrong with you? Yeah, really? What the fuck is wrong with you? Exactly right. She ends up in the apartment with the baby who uh, he did not kill for some reason. I guess he's just not that crazy. Sees some corpses. He's not full she tilt goes. boogie. He's just mostly <laughs> tilt boogie. She grabs the baby and runs. Where it's this is scene. I think it's just really noticeable because it's like she's carrying like a fake tiny doll, and then all of a sudden there's this, this baby that's like three, four times as big as <laughs> the doll she was carrying. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> it's like a newborn doll versus like you know a nine month old baby. Yeah. <laughs> It's the just baby is giant. huge, huge comparison. It's so absurdly <laughs> noticeable when she swaps back and forth between this doll and this fucking baby. No one was even paying attention. It's like, really, guys? And then it cuts back to her running again. Like, she's trying to hide in the bathroom and the pool house. And now she's got the tiny baby, which she kind of just chucks under a... Uh, under a sink. <laughs> and just leaves it there. Its foot is sticking out and the door is not fully shut. The door is such a jar. You can see the baby the whole fucking time. As well as the fact that he never killed the baby like half an hour ago when he killed the two people in the place. Like she could have just left the baby there. Right. But whatever. She thought she was saving the baby. Uh, he's wandering around. He shows. He makes a joke about didn't mean to interrupt you because there's two dead people in a sauna. Two dead. I guess that's the people from the pool, right? Yes. He put them in the sauna for some that reason. That's correct. To hide the bodies, yeah. Because why not? Because it's better than uh, out in the open, yeah. She she goes to run away. Sees Todd and locks him out for some reason. If you know, it's clearly Cause she panicked because she just saw his face <laughs> and that's it. I told you. Uh, he ends up getting in. Uh. He's, he can't seem to shoot his brother, so she grabs a gun, but nobody checked. There's no bullets in that gun. <laughs> oh. uh, she gets pushed down, which is kind of funny, because she gets shoved in the wall. She's like, ow, <laughs> and just slides on the wall. And they start, uh, he decides he's going to apparently frame the brother again by wiping a hand of blood on his face and sticking a machete. In his <laughs> yep. Head. And he's like, no, and they jump, fight in the pool. Mom shows up, shoots Terry to death. And then she grabs Todd, starts crying, calls him Terry, dun, dun, dun. I'm she's... Todd. I'm Todd. Yeah, he's hitting the wall saying that. She's saying it too, and then she uh, shoots herself in the head. Yeah, it's pretty fucking dark. <laughs> she's, and, uh... she's like, I'm done, peace. I like at this point, like, that girl probably should have left a long time ago with that baby, but she got to sit there and see Terry be shot to death and then watch Terry's mom shoot herself before she decides, like, maybe I should leave. Right. <laughs> and then it just ends, doesn't it? Yeah. Then the movie just credits roll and that's it. You hear I mean, the sirens in the distance and that's it. Someone apparently at some point called. Although there, there was the scene, not really important, where... Uh, Todd runs into a little girl looking for a cat, and he he tells her to go home, lock the door, no, never let anybody in because there's a bad person around. 
And then when she's running away from Terry trying to kill her, she bangs on the door and she's like, go away. The guy told me not to let anyone in. It wasn't important, but I thought I'd mention it. Because the kid's acting was terrible. <laughs> oh my god, that kid's acting was terrible. <laughs> You're right. He was awful. You'll hurt my kitty. So, the music here is entirely notable because it's done by Richard Einhorn, who also did Shockwaves, Don't Go in the House, Eyes of a Stranger, The Prowler, Dead of Winter, Sister, Sister, a bunch of other movies and TV shows. And my favorite thing he's done is the is there is a silent film called The Passion of Joan of Arc from 1928. And Richard Einhorn and the Anonymous Four record a score for it called Voices of Light. That is one of the most beautiful pieces of music I've ever heard in my entire life. It is a piece, there's a piece of music in that, in that, 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 that whole body of work that brings a tear to my eye. It's just so beautifully sad. It's just, Man, Richard Einhorn, top notch, and he does amazing job with the music in this movie. It's one of the most notable parts about the movie is the awesome score. So, that's actually my favorite part of the movie was the, was the score. So, um, what did you think of the movie? I mean, what's your favorite part? Yeah, it was it was goofy fun. I mean. Not gonna blow you away or anything. It's not but. gonna be Academy Award winning. The special effects are really good in some sequences and really bad in others. And if you yeah. saw it in a VHS, it'd be pretty convincing in some shots. So there's no uh, no who done it in this, but that's fine. Yeah, you know immediately from the beginning. The only who done it is from the characters in the movie. You're like, no, that's the wrong one. No, you idiots. And you're like, <laughs> I just like they're like twins. And like, ooh, and then you're like, oh, it's clearly he's killing people <laughs> yeah it's a different kind of tension instead of it being a mystery tension it's uh like what if he kills him now tension you know i was like is the brother gonna kill the mom in the end like no no nope. i mean i didn't see the mom shooting herself coming but let's hope it was kind of that left i'm bit. todd stab 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 yeah right <laughs> or just shoots him right there and like boom done yeah. Or although it would have been funny if the ending was him wiping blood on the brother's face and then the machete and the cops arresting the brother. <laughs> He's like, got away with it again. So would you recommend this film? Sure, if you like slashers. So for slasher films and fans, I mean? I guess it's for horror fans. Okay. I mean, I, I say it's, a, it's an essential for slasher fans. Definitely. If it is not essential for horror fans, but you'll probably have a good time. Like, if you're like, oh, I love slashers. That's all I watch. I'm a master slasher watcher. And you haven't seen Blood Rage? I question your mastery. If you haven't seen Blood Rage and Mutilator, the, d the double feature, which we've clearly covered on this episode of Psychotronic Coast to Coast, uh, you know, you, you're missing out. It's, it's the double bill to watch. Like Arrow set it up like that. Practically on purpose. So, they released them within like two weeks of each other. So, have you seen the other version? I have not. At the next time I watch it, I'll probably watch the composite cut with Nightmare Shadow Woods with all the extra stuff added in from uh, the Blood Rage cut. Nightmare Shadow Woods is a way better name than Blood Rage. Yep. Uh, it's, not, it's called that, by the way, because it's, it's uh, Shadow Woods Apartment. Yeah. So. There you go. Blood Rage is so generic. It is really generic. So is the Mutilator, to be fair. That's also a fall didn't... break. But... I'm surprised they didn't just call it Thanksgiving Day or something. Or Thanksgiving like way back then. <laughs> that would have been perfect. This been... If they'd called this Thanksgiving, obviously it can't now. There's another movie. That, that, this movie would have sold like hotcakes. You know? Although there would have had to have been more Thanksgiving references. Considering I didn't realize it was Thanksgiving. It's Turkey Day! <laughs> oh, I'm great. Does anyone sell that striped shirt? I don't know. I'm sure I'm sure somebody has identified I mean, the exact brand and era, and you can go find it. How come that's not a market? I don't know. T-shirts that look like ones from the horror movies. Just remake them like like victim shirts and shit 
Should I also mention? Oh, dude, that... it'd be really cool to have the shirts but covered in blood, like from the movie. Same blood splatter. Splatter. That'd be rad. I also should mention there's a ton of Nike in this. There's a lot of Nike product placement in this, and <laughs> it's everywhere. I, I don't think that they had the budget to get something like product placement. Like they don't, <laughs> they're not big enough to get product placement, but maybe they did, or they just went to their local sports store and just bought a bunch of shit that was cheap. <laughs> I mean, in the beginning, he had a Nike shirt on. The killer's wearing Nike shoes. The Nike logo is everywhere in this. It really is. You just find it. And you'll be watching a scene like, hey, there's a Nike logo. What the hell? <laughs> there's a pair of Nike shoes on the shelf there just for no reason. Just hanging there. I was hoping he was just killing anyone that didn't have Nike shoes on. He's like, Puma's terrible. Ah, I start <laughs> stabbing you. <laughs> Fuck your Reebok. Just, just stab, stab, stab. All right, so yeah, that, that'll do it for uh, this episode of Psychotronic Coast to Coast. Oh, we're, we're watching next week. We are watching... Oh, what do we want to watch? Uh, we're going to watch Killer Rack because we got to get some of these review copies done. So I don't know anything about it. It was sent over by Camp Motion Pictures, so we'll be watching that. Killer tits. Yeah, I mean, it's got, it's got prosthetic tits with teeth. So... Uh, I imagine this can be funny, humorous at least. I mean, I don't know how you do that movie seriously. I know, right? Dead serious, bro. There's no running time. That scares me. Seven hours. Seven hours of boobs just <laughs> munching faces. I, I would be like, you know, I kind of expected this. This is uh, two thumbs up for literally a marathon of face murder, you know? Tit on face murder. All right, so yeah, I guess we're watching uh, Killer Rack next week. So we'll see you next week for Sectronic Coast to Coast. Peace, guys.